this episode of Project Porsche, I start work on my broken door handles. I'm wondering if I can take this door handle apart, flip it apart, flip it around, and put it back together. If I could make that work, then I don't have to buy anything. Welcome to Project Porsche, everyone. Episode five, part one, door handle time. It's time to fix the door handles. I put a nice coat of paint also. More come foolery. Spray paint. What's up, YouTube? This little pain in the butt over here decided to stop letting me open the door. And it's not locked. So I went ahead and removed the screws, took out the handle, took out the speaker, and the ones down here. Now I'm just gonna try to pull this sucker off. I also put some tape on the armrest to hold it up. Should have done that right away. Just found a picture of the switch so I could understand which part was actually the plug and which part was actually part of the switch. Take a little screwdriver. Ooh, yeah. These two ripped out on me right here, so I'm gonna have to do something to strengthen those. The key to getting the door panel off, it's really just lifting it up over this thing right here. Pretty much obscured by this, by the window track. Window channels in the way. Turns out I have to remove the window glass uh, in order to take the channel out. And I have to also cut around for my new speaker. So I'm just gonna pull off the plastic, the whole thing, and take off the door handle. Rose, power window motor. I'll make sure to put that back on for my contours correct restoration. I'm just gonna lay out some of this poly and I'm gonna stick the plastic down onto a piece of poly until I'm ready to uh, stick it back on the door. Now I can actually get inside here and undo the, take out this black channel. The door was nice and clean, so I used some of this, some packaging tape, uh, some masking tape, and I just covered all the surfaces on the door that I wanted to keep clean. I'm gonna trace around the bolts with this silver marker, and then that way, should be able to put them right back where they were. So I removed all the bolts that hold the regulator in place. I also loosened up the bolts for that other little channel there that you might not even have to do. Uh, and then I just pulled the window up out through the top. So there's one bolt there, I have to get that. And then I have to pull out this rubber channel right here. And there is a bolt behind it. I'm missing a bolt in there. There's supposed to be a bolt in there behind that rubber piece. There she be. I had to spot weld the other side. I did that when I got the, like right when I got the car, I, the channel goes in underneath this. So without that little piece that should be welded to the door, it's actually easier to see the lock mechanism looking through the top there. And that's what's happening inside the door. It should be pushing down. We remove this screw. So I traced around the lock mechanism, the latch, just so I knew exactly where it was. Now I think you could have pulled out that like vent thing and probably reached in there and popped this door handle out without taking the whole panel off. I just decided to take the doors apart and tackle all the things that I wanted to do at one time. Basically, there's a pivot point inside here, right there. Yeah, this thing is busted. So that's that. Okay, so kind of bummed because I thought this piece broke. You can actually get these for you know pretty reasonable price. But no, my door handle broke. This um, little, which when you look at it, it does seem pretty 
like there's not a lot of material supporting the dang thing so you can see this other like boss or whatever you call it mounting point it's kind of greasy not the big one the little one in front right in the middle of the screen with the grease on it that is an unused hole where the passenger side door the passenger side this thing sticks in I'm wondering if I can take this door handle apart and flip it apart, flip it around and put it back together. Put this one on the passenger side, but I have to take out the passenger side and flip that all around and put that on the driver's side. If I could make that work, then I don't have to buy anything. This is a kit from England to replace this part in the spring and it looks like it has a pin. I thought maybe a Volkswagen handle would work, but it it does look like it's a little different. This thing is going the other way. Looks like that's different. And the stuff inside of here might be different. I guess you can get a whole handle for like 300 bucks, 500 bucks. I really wish I would have pulled the dang door handles off of that Porsche that was in the junkyard. Now I can tell you that. So I just started cleaning them up. If I can get this thing apart without breaking it, I should be able to pop this pin out, and I know I can swap sides. I took the lock mechanism out here, and you can just see the remains of the old gasket, which I tried to replicate later. So I started pounding it out with a punch here. Marring it up a little bit. The way that worked best for me was to actually put it over a socket. That seemed to work the best. There's a the pin. You can see it's recessed, sunken on one end and then flat on the other. You can see that it's busted right here. The passenger side uses this one, while this other one is free down here. So I'm just going to swap the parts around. So I took out the passenger side door handle and then I took them both apart, I cleaned them and then just spent the last hour or so sanding these up. I needed to uh, tape off the inside of the lock thing so that no paint would get in there. And I had this rubber plug so I just went, I threw a plug in the vise and I just shaved off a few of these rubber uh, pieces. Yeah, they just fit in there like that. Krylon primer, uh, Northern Hydraulics. So that's some Seymour paint from uh, Northern Hydraulics. Oh, I'll do this. Spray paint. Oh, no. Put on my painting gear. And I used a heat gun in the middle. This paint looked really good when it was done. But unfortunately, after laying on uh, too many layers, it was just too thick and it chipped when I tried to put the handles together. So I sanded inside there, did some clearancing, and then I decided to reshoot the black paint with just this high performance rust -oleum enamel. And I just used that without any primer. I wanted to keep the coat thin. When I was done, it was way harder than the uh, last coat of paint I put on here. Okay, this is the new driver's side door handle. It has the outside from the passenger, the inside lever from the driver's side, and this is just the passenger side flipped upside down. So I had to straighten these pins out a bit. So I just kind of bent them with the uh, pliers. Tried to knock the ridges down. Yeah, you can kind of see the bend in there. Tapped it out with a hammer, tried to flatten it out a bit. And then I tried to knock down any of the edges with the file. Yeah, they look pretty good. So I whipped out some masking tape to protect the new paint. And I found out that this was the best way 
it worked for me to get these things to go together. Mixed up the lube. I'm gonna force some grease into this thing for the hell of it. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, one was tighter than the other one. But uh, once I got them in there, boom, shakalaka. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna tap it down one more time with a punch. All right, we good. We good, gotta do the next one. Well, there it is. That's how you fix door handles without buying any new parts. Next time I'll keep working on these door handles and the other projects I have to do inside the door too. Thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate the likes and the subscriptions. It makes all the hard work of putting these videos together a little bit easier. the worst video ever made. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for more Project Porsche. See you next time. Hey, how's that so good? Genesis, more kung coolery.